Hey Cloud Gurus and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode we're going to take a look at three recent Azure announcements. The public preview of Storage Explorer in the Azure portal, the public preview of standard SSD disks for Azure VMs, and the general availability for cross-region disaster recovery for Azure VMs. We'll also take a quick look at the massive announcement that Microsoft will be acquiring GitHub. Firstly, let's take a look at the public preview of Storage Explorer in the Azure portal. Azure Storage Explorer is a client-side cross-platform application which enables you to work directly with storage solutions on Azure, including Storage Accounts, Cosmos DB, and Azure Data Lake. If you missed the announcement, Azure Storage Explorer actually went GA at the start of May, and you can read about that announcement right here. Now, you can access Storage Explorer directly within the Azure portal from the management section of each storage account so that you can interact with the contents of blob containers, file shares, and queues. Let's take a look at the announcement that standard SSD disks are now in public preview for Azure VMs. Standard SSD disks are managed disks which fit in between standard HDD, which run on spinning disk, and premium SSD, which are provisioned on solid state disks, and which provide much higher maximum IOPS and throughput. Standard SSD disks deliver the same maximum IOPS and throughput as standard HDD disks, but being provisioned on solid state means much greater performance, reliability, and lower latency. At this point in time, standard SSD disks can be deployed on any Azure VM SKU, but are only available in North Europe. However, by mid-June, so in about a week or so, the functionality will be rolled out to Azure regions in the US, Canada, France, Asia, and Australia. Let's look at the announcement that cross-region disaster recovery for Azure VMs is now generally available. This feature is powered by Azure Site Recovery, or ASR, which allows you to use Azure regions as disaster recovery targets for both on-premises and Azure-based workloads, or use Azure as a broker to orchestrate replication and failover between on-premises DCs. Using the Azure portal, you can configure any Azure VM to be replicated to an Azure region within the same geographic zone. This means that you're not limited to replicating only to the paired region, but any region within the same zone. Microsoft has published a quick start so that you can try out VM replication, and this is available right here. There is also a detailed matrix which documents which VM configurations are and are not supported for cross-region replication. If you somehow managed to miss the announcement, Microsoft is acquiring GitHub. This is a fairly massive announcement, as for many open source developers, Microsoft hasn't historically been the name automatically associated with open source community engagement. Microsoft's investment in open source has been consistently gathering momentum since 2014, to the point now where it is the number one open source contributor on GitHub. This is due to a huge transformation within the company about how Microsoft sees itself and also wishes to be seen. Um, certainly from my own personal perspective, the Microsoft I deal with today is not the same company I dealt with even five years ago. Uh, as someone who's dealt with the company and its products for pretty much my entire career, I've seen a very dramatic shift in how Microsoft operates and engages. There is absolutely a sense of excitement and drive coming out of Redmond which has been picked up by people who traditionally would eh, rather poke themselves with a stick than deal with Microsoft technology. That's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the public preview of Storage Explorer in the Azure portal, the public preview of standard SSD disks for Azure VMs, and the general availability of cross-region disaster recovery for Azure VMs, as well as the huge announcement that Microsoft will acquire GitHub. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.